Hi everyone, my name is Kadir Arden, and today I'm extremely happy to talk about the most recent project we finished. In this project, we tried to design and manufacture a multi-arm pendulum on the card system. So the pendulum on the card system has long been studied in different research fields, including machine learning, dynamical system, system identification, and controls. So in this project, we try to detail the design and manufacturing process of building such a uh, multi-arm pendulum on the card system so that it can be a really good useful reference guide for anyone who is interested in building their own. And moreover, we generated an open access data set from the real experimental system so that people can use those data set to test out their algorithms, for example, machine learning algorithms or system identification algorithms. If you're interested, please feel free to check it out using the links below, and all the data set, design files, and code are freely available on the GitHub. So in short, our system has four major components. Servo drive, linear motor, real-time system, and also the pendulum arm. What the servo drive is doing is basically providing electrical energy to our actuator, in this case, the linear motor. And the linear motor is responsible for moving back and forth, and while it's moving, it's going to perturb the motion of the pendulum arm. And that's basically how we control it. And there's no motor installed in the pendulum arm. The only control we have is moving the pendulum card. That's why our system is underactuated. As for the real-time system, it is responsible for gathering sensor information and also executing the user's control law. And in order to achieve a robust control, we have to perform a closed-loop control. That's why you can see the closed-loop control we implemented in this figure. At each time step, uh, the real-time system is going to gather sensor information from the linear system, and, uh, linear motor, and also the pendulum arm. And it will determine uh, how we should move the linear motor at what kind of desired speed according to the user's control law. It will then send that desired speed information using an analog signal to the servo drive, and the servo drive will compare the current speed of the linear motor and also the desired speed of the linear motor to determine whether we should increase its velocity or decrease its velocity. So basically, that's the entire control algorithm uh, or the control diagram we're using in the system. And now I want to talk about some design details, and the first thing I'll walk through is the pendulum arm. So the pendulum arm we used is actually a triple pendulum arm, but it is easily detachable. So for example, you can take out one of the arm to make it as double pendulum, or take out one more arm to make it as single pendulum. And moreover, it has a really high accuracy sensor installed with 10,000 uh, CPR. Uh, and with this really high accuracy sensors, we can detect really tiny movement of the pendulum arm down to 0 0.009 degrees, which is super awesome. And when it comes to the linear motor, its maximum speed is 5 meters per second, and it has a really high accuracy as well, down to 1 micrometer uh, resolution. So it is super awesome as well. And when it comes to the pendulum art, uh, cart, uh, it is trying to basically attach the pendulum arm and the linear motor together. And as you can see here, we have additional sensor, encoder sensor, attached to the uh, bearing housing so that it can uh, detect the rotational angle of the first pendulum arm. And when we put everything together and assemble them into a system frame, we can finally have a benchmark system for learning chaos and control. As an example, I'm just going to show you how we use uh, this exper experimental system to achieve the stabilization of the double pendulum. To do so, you have to first generate the nonlinear model of the double pendulum and then linearize it around its equilibrium point. And next, you have to use some controller. In this case, we're using LQR to stabilize your pendulum. And as you can see, even if you poke it around, uh, it is still stable, so which is really interesting. And I really like this video because it is so satisfying, uh, and I really like this video a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, besides some controls experiment, we can also do some system identification experiment as well. Uh, and that's why we have some open access data set. And we even have some high speed motion camera capture data set as well. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. And uh, if you want to have some custom made data set, please feel free to email us and we can generate some, uh, some, uh, some data set for you. And after we finish our experiment uh, and building this experimental system, right, we start to realize one problem. Even though we made our system open access and made our design file freely available, it still takes time and effort to build and maintain such a complicated system. That's why we start to think about the idea of cloud experiment. So for example, if you're some remote user, right, you can probably just upload your controller to the cloud and we can validate whether your controller works or not. If it 
Thus, uh, we can employ it to the uh, real-time system, uh, and we're going to run it basically on our experimental system and generate a bunch of data set and gather uh, an experimental report and send it back to you. And if your code doesn't work, we can also send you a debug report so that you can revise your code. And by using this cloud experimental idea, the user do not have to worry about building and maintaining an experimental system anymore. You just have to use it uh, using the cloud. And we believe this idea is going to uh, make our system more widely available to many users. And that's why we're really interested in this idea. And we would like to implement it in the future as our future research goal. So in short, in this project, uh, we designed and manufactured a multi-arm pendulum on the card system. We also generated an open access data set. And as our future research goal, we want to tackle the problem of cloud experiment to make our system more widely available. With that, I would like to thank my collaborators and our funding agency for making this research possible and thank all my audience for listening. Thank you all and see you next time.